day I was wondering what heaven must be like. Do you think that maybe the heavenly hosts greet you at the gate and then lead you to a table where you begin in some heavy debate? Asking questions like, what is the appendix for? Why didn't we get wings and why is there war? And why does death leave the living so sad? And when we got answers, would we sit in disbelief or awe as we learned that there were no mistakes? That each strand fit with every other strand and that it wasn't spelt DNA. But that every letter in between and undiscovered were just a minute lexicon in the understanding of it. And that the unimagined moved within and without us. And that we were only a particle in the sand, a groupie to the band at every gig but just following bigger plans. And as we looked around, would we suddenly notice that we weren't really talking. We weren't even really. We were dancing beams of light shining within and without each other as a continuous movement of he and she and we and they and that this, it could be there and here at the same time. Fit the word orange with a real rhyme, infinite and dwarfing the sunlight in just a fraction of its shine. And then, if we could still talk, we'd ask, did I die or am I on some seriously cool hallucinogens? What the heaven is this? And we'd hear an answer like, You have always had this light. It moved within you every day. You have never existed without it. It has never changed. You call it love. It's synonymous to life. Without it, there exists nothing. It illuminates and guides. It connects you all and it's brightest when you pray. It's the truth and the way. And then if you still could, you'd nod your head and be like, "Uh, okay, I get it. So you mean I could have tripped like this every day? Zillow's heaven. 